AU's four-strong delegation is led by Ibrahim Fall, Senegal's former foreign minister and AU's special representative for the Great Lakes region. The African Union says it's hoping the talks can defuse the crisis and that with so many stakeholders involved, any settlement will be truly inclusive. There's plenty at stake for the African Union. Commission Chair Kosazana Lamini Zuma has been a fierce critic of President Nkruziza's decision to seek a third term and has laid the region's condemnation of recent months of violence. In recent days, the African Union has raised the pressure with a plan to send in 5,000 troops to stop the trouble. And Cruzizas' government has rejected that idea and there have been mass protests in Bujumbura against the plan. So, it's not just peace for Burundi riding on these stocks, but peace for its neighbours and possibly the African Union's credibility too. Group Dala, CCTV, Addis Ababa. Ethiopia. Well, now let's take a look at the events that have led up to Burundi's current situation. Clementine Logan has more. Burundi, one of the world's poorest nations, is struggling to emerge from an ethnically charged civil war that ended in 2005. This year it was plunged into its worst crisis since that conflict. A decision in April by President Pierre Nkurunziza to bid for a third term sparked protests by opposition supporters who called the move unconstitutional. A coup attempt in May was crushed after two days. Many of the soldiers and police who took part fled the country. Resisting pressure from protesters and foreign governments to step down, 51-year-old Nkurunziza went on to win 70% of the vote in July's disputed election. The United Nations says at least 400 people have been killed in the unrest. Regular gun battles in the capital Bujumbura and attacks elsewhere have forced more than 200,000 people to seek refuge in neighbouring countries. Human rights group Amnesty International has urged an investigation into alleged human rights abuses by Burundi's security forces. This month saw the country's opposition come together for the first time, pledging to use force to oust Nkurunziza. The rebels have called themselves the Republican Forces of Burundi. With ongoing violence and deepening instability, the international community says Burundi risks sliding back into civil war. Clementine Logan, CCTV, 